morning friends happy sunday um i hope that everyone saw my announcement about the new show i'm super excited about this i've been thinking about this for a good 69 months and i finally thought why not why not just do it see if um it works and see if people are interested and allow a platform for people to just sort of get things off their chest and this is what confessions is all about so um but uh the video of today so it's sunday night or sunday morning early drinking the coffee i got a message from prime through the prime app last night to contact them regarding um suspicious charges i was like what so I contacted the fuel desk at Prime, and they notified me that, in fact, my card had been used in Pennsylvania while I was in Minnesota. You drinking a pop? What? You drinking some coffee? Yeah, that, <laughs> I'm not. No. Oh, this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> he never stops working. He's out doing something. Um, but, so, my card was used in Pennsylvania while I was in Minnesota on home time. Um, so, Prime gave me um, instructions after I told them that yeah, it wasn't me. So they gave me instructions to going out to the ComData website, disputing the charges, and that it would take 10 days for ComData to investigate, like review, investigate, and if they found that um, it was fraudulent, that um, the money would be put back on my card. So they will, um, they will request my truck records so that they can see the location of the truck and know that I was, in fact, in one location and could not have made a transaction on the other side of the country. So when I went out to review or dispute, um, I didn't realize because I don't frequent the website uh, for Com Data, nor I don't know if I think there's an app, but I don't use the app. I don't get, I don't put. Um, pay on there. I do put a little bit of money every week from my settlement on ComData, just so like if I'm at Walmart, I can use it. Or if I'm in a truck stop and want to pull money out of the ATM, I can do that without using my bank card. So, but anyway, um, while on the website, I noticed that you can go into like a detailed summary and they have it like 30, 60, 90, or you can change, select your own dates, it goes back 14 months. So I went back 30 days and I noticed more, more charges. So I called the fuel desk back and I said, this has been going on for quite some time. Like from what I understand from the, Jakey, can you sit? Good boy. From what I understand from the um, Com Data site that they, they will review anything erroneous within the last 10 days. Um, so I don't know, you know, that they'll actually take care of anything that's older than 10 days. But so the field desk was, in fact, looking at where I was on certain dates because you can see based on transactions, like you can see I was in Springfield on one day. And then the next day, I'm in Oklahoma, and then the next day, Texas and New Mexico. So you can see where I'm traveling. But in between Missouri and Oklahoma, there's an ATM withdrawal in Pennsylvania. So I went back further, and what I found was um, October 29th of 2018 is when it started in Pennsylvania. So all of the ATM withdrawals, and inquiries are in Pennsylvania. So my assumption is that 
somehow they get a hold of my card number and then they made a physical card because they're using it in an ATM. And what sort of um, brought my attention to it is I never use the ATM to, um, to check my balance. But this person does. So they would do all of these ATM balance inquiries and then they would take out money. And then balance inquiries and then take out money since October 29th. Now, the good thing is that I only put $35 a week on my card to get out like at Walmart and to get out at truck stops when I want. I, I don't load it full of money unless, unless I have money transferred from my e-fund onto that card so that I can um, withdraw it at Again, truck stop or Walmart, but I rarely do that. Um, so there, there isn't typically a large balance on there, but they, they or them, um, so far it's just under five hundred dollars. So with the charge, let's see, Friday they took out two hundred and one, <clears throat> and then. Saturday, they attempted three to four more times. <clears throat> and that's when my, my ComData card was flagged by ComData for suspicious activities because it was happening in Pennsylvania. Or, yeah, Pennsylvania. So, um, so my card shut down. It can't be used. I can't even use it. Um, I explained to Prime that I'm on home time, but I leave out Tuesday morning. So they will have to overnight me a new card. So I have that. Now, do I need it to fuel? I don't need it to fuel because I have money. But um, my fuel expenses will go up if I'm not using the prime, the prime um, fuel system, right? So like that's what my Com Data card allows me to do is to fuel on Prime's network. So I get those discounts. So I don't want my expenses for fuel to go up. So of course, of course I want my Com Data card to use for fueling. Um, even if I paid for fuel outright um, and submitted a receipt, Prime is not going to reimburse me any sort of discount because I didn't use their Prime fuel network. So it's advantageous for me to have that card um, to fuel not only that but you know when I leave on home time I'm not back for a couple months so I would be without a card so I need that settle down buddy settle down um can you sit down sit oh yes um so I need that card you know to fuel and to get around and stuff like that so um We'll see what happens. It's probably going to delay what time I leave on Tuesday because I doubt that I'll have it 6, 7 a.m. on Tuesday morning, which is what I hope to do was to get out of town relatively early so I could pick up a load. Um, but that's where I'm at. So some at some point, late October, they got a hold of my card. I really don't know to this point how it happened. Um, and I'm hoping that with the investigation that ComData does, that they have some information on how it happened so that we can further protect ourselves. Like, you know, I, I hear stories about the card readers on the pumps. Is that when it happened? I don't know. Um, and so I don't know how to... I don't know how to really protect myself. I, not, I mean, for the most part now, I fuel at the top fuel stops. The TAs, the well, less at TA, but Flying J, Pilot, and then Loves. And I now use the app. Um, so I'll, you know, use the app and then start the pump. But some, some locations still don't have that availability. Um, but that's where I'm at. So I um, don't know for sure that I'm going to get any of that money back. I mean, it's gone. It's off my account. Somebody got it. 
it could have been far worse. Trust me. It could have been far worse. Um, cause if they hadn't flagged them probably right now, there's probably just short of 600 bucks on that card. So they could have, you know, had more money, um, whatever, Saturday or Sunday when they tried, but that's when Comdata had shut it down. <clears throat> 